Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. Want us to know how to move these birds closer together. Um, now, we've seen a couple different ways. And the poster actually wanted to squeeze the photo together. I'm trying to grab it and I can't squeeze it together because you first have to unlock it. See up here on the upper right, there's a little lock there. So once you unlock it, then you have full permission to do whatever you want with the photo. If I grab the little box right here and start pulling it together, what's happening is the whole picture is being squeezed together. You don't want to do that. So let's try doing a couple other things. First, let's take this bird and clone him into a new layer. So I'm going to start a new blank layer right there. I'm going to come over here and grab the clone stamp tool. And since this size is a little bit small, let's go ahead and make this uh, a lot bigger, like a 500 points, a soft brush like that. See, this is going to cover the whole bird. So if I start down here, now make sure because I created a new layer that I'm grabbing a sample from the bottom layer. How do you know that? By down here, simply click on the sample all layers. Make sure that that is checked in. So this will grab the layer that's below because that's what it sees and put it onto our new blank layer. I'm going to hold down Alt and click right down here. And there's our new layer. And now we can just indiscriminately just create that bird like that. And that created, and I'll turn off the bottom layer <clears throat> so you can see this new layer up here. We have it on standby because we turned it off. Now our original layer, we want to get rid of this bird here. How do we do that? By using the content aware fill layer. So let's first grab what we need with the polygon tool and we're going to use the lasso i'm going to zoom in here and i want to get really close to the bird but not touching it you want to just leave a little bit and so if i grab the whole bird like this leaving a little extra space watch what happens i'll go to edit fill selection and then make sure that this says content aware when i hit ok there goes the bird. It's perfect, except for something at the bottom that's really crazy. So what we want to do is clone a portion of the branch to put down here on its own layer. So let's go ahead and grab the clone stamp tool and make this a nice like 200 point. Let's go ahead and grab it from up here. Make sure you make a new layer so that we can manipulate it afterwards. And all we got to do is alt click and that created that portion. I'm just going to draw it back down like that. And then we got us a new layer portion of the branch. I'm going to bring it down here and then rotate it so that it's the same angle as the original branch and put it into place. That looks good right around there. And we could just start erasing portions that we don't want anymore, like, and just brush out the portions of the new piece that don't look right. And that's all there is to it. And there's our new branch piece covering the old piece that was broken from the clone stamp tool before. I'm going to go ahead and merge these together by clicking on that top layer and hit merge down. So now we fixed that portion of the branch. All we got to do is bring our cloned bird back into the project. And let's go ahead and place him down exactly where we want it to be. And let's say right around here. Obviously, the rotation is off, so we're just going to bring this over like that and hit OK. Bring it down to where it fits. And now we got to do is take the eraser. Let's make it a big eraser, like about 150 point soft point eraser and start erasing the portions that we don't want anymore. And there you go. We got our second bird moved over to the left and it's been placed there right on top of the uh, original branch and you can't even tell it's looking pretty good well this is rich for this tutorial calling it quits saying over and out